Hey, Doug with WJ Andriots here in Central Kentucky, uh, specifically Shelbyville. And we've got a project here. We are many times asked to come out and consult or give answers on projects. So this particular project, uh, this is a home remodel. They had a flood upstairs and a lot of significant amount of drywall was replaced. Uh, some of the trim had to be replaced. The hardwood floors were removed upstairs. We're down in the basement right now. We're going to use this project as an opportunity to talk about a few things that we think can be helpful for your similar projects. Number one, we're going to talk about just the, the impact of drywall mudding and sanding in an occupied space. Now this is the basement and you can see that we've used builder paper. The client has covered all the floors. And so this sanding is not such a nuisance as long as you keep this dust from going in the rest of the house. Now you can see some areas here where they started sweeping. But look how much of this drywall dust is on the floor. So we cover the air returns. We cover, uh, this is a couple of side rooms down here in the basement. Because if you do not plastic off these areas, uh, this drywall dust will migrate and it will be there forever. Uh, we hate drywall dust. The other thing we hate about drywall dust is it's what usually contaminates the paint finish. Many times, even if it's new construction or remodel, we typically see this kind of a, an atmosphere when the painting is going on. You know, no one wants to clean it up. The drywall guys come in, they leave this mess. The painter comes in, he's like, I'm not cleaning that up, but I'll tell you what, if you don't clean up and you hit your roller on the floor, your brush on the floor, you're going to be picking all this crap up. And that's the biggest problem. This is what most of the crap in the walls is from. It's from this drywall mud that gets crushed up, little rocks, it's just tracked around. And so, number one, before we start painting, we're going to clean this job site up. We're going to vacuum the drywall dust off of the surface prior to priming, which should be recommended and you should demand of your contractors. We're also going to use some dust-free sanding equipment, dust-free vacuum equipment, I'm sorry. Uh, we have the vacuum bag. We have this bag that vacuum captures. Um, if you don't have a bag in your vacuum, if you just use a typical shop vac or a rigid vac, uh, those will recirculate some of the dust into the air if you don't have a, a, a dust filtering bag installed. So make sure that you demand of your contractors any other cleanup needs to be uh, with a bag equipped shop vac. So let's go to a couple more points and we'll be back.